good week here. Um, we finished the room. Oh. And it was our 18th wedding anniversary. Oh. It was also Merlot's fourth birthday this week. Good morning, my beautiful Dachshund. It's your birthday today. You're four. You're four. Gonna have lots of belly rubs and a nice day. Merlo. Birthday Nuggy. Birthday Nuggy. <laughs> nice walk on the beach. Dogs aren't allowed on beaches from the 1st of April. So I've apologised. <laughs> And we're having a walk along the promenade rather than the beach itself. Merlo doesn't seem as upset as what I thought he would, but it's okay. We decided to bring them here instead to the port of Meche. Meche? Meches? Something. And we've got them a very special treat. Anyway, are you now ready for a room reveal? Told you I could make it fit. A multifaceted knob. Look at that multifaceted knob. Come on in. are the original curtains that were in this room. They just needed a really good wash. This is the original fireplace. We've not had it swept so we can't actually light a fire, but we could. And this is the original bath that was in the house. This is a repurposed washstand that we bought for 100 euros. And I know it's giving a little bit of a hint of like Italian Tuscany vibes, but the wall murals brightened up the green and added more green. Well, there we go, one bathroom down. I know that green isn't everybody's taste, but hopefully 
may have changed your mind. But we still have to finish the blue bathroom, three bedrooms, another en suite, a master suite, and a breakfast room. And a kitchen. And a, <laughs> and a kitchen. <laughs> so I think we will still be around on YouTube for a little while with the rooms that we have left complete. <laughs> I'm really proud of this room. Um, when you look at what we started with, um, without electricity, so no lighting, no sockets, no plumbing, no drainage. The walls were here, the ceiling was cracked. I hope you like it. I'm sure you'll let us know in the comments. Today is a special day. Every day is really a special day, but today the whole family, kids, the whole family has come for a trip out. We have arrived approximately eight minutes early. <laughs> we are in a queue and we are in a queue for one of our favourite places to go to. The Deschettery. Yay! Obviously when you're fitting things like a bathroom you end up with lots of cardboard and polystyrene and things like that so here we are at the Deschettery trying to clear some room in the house. We've reached the woodland. Oh, look at the girl from some of them. There is wood as far as the eye can see. Nana's. Oh. 
lunch number two. <coughs> now we're off to Nana's. <coughs> well, we popped up to the in-laws. I just wanted to show you my mother-in-law and her beautiful wisteria. <coughs> you can just about see her through there. And the perfume's beautiful. The perfume is beautiful, apparently. I can confirm it is. Mm. Look at that, isn't that magnificent? Um, I was unloading uh, the wood we bought at the Tonelloy, the barrel makers, and this little chap caught my eye. Um, apparently it's a longhorn beetle. Um, it is a wood boring beetle, uh, but the Facebook advisors tell me that it, it likes sort of soft wood or rotten wood. Um, so quite why it was in with a load of oak, I don't know. Um, it does, my, my insect app says it's a wood boring beetle and if you find a lot of them near your house you, you should really worry. Um, well I got this one, um, live and let live I think and uh, so we're going to take it down to a lay by a healthy distance away from the house and, and let it go on about its life. Little do, this will do, come on out you go. There we go. Enjoy your life, little one. I woke up this morning and I could smell something and I was very concerned. The first thing I thought was there's something not quite right with my husband. It had that smell. I could smell it all the way through the house. I could smell it when I opened the bedroom door. I could smell it in the kitchen. I could smell it in the yard, everywhere. But I didn't need to worry. The smell is the smell of thousands of cows finally condensed into a tank and being carefully and evenly distributed across this field. through into what will be this blue bathroom um, or ensuite, whatever you want to call it. And I'm in the cupboard and what I'm doing today, I'm going over all of the taping and jointing. Um, Nick started doing it, but the thing is, is that he ran out of the jointing putty halfway through doing it. Now I'm not going to show me doing all of the jointing because it's just You've seen it, you know, you've you've had enough of that. I've had enough of it. 
But this is a real bugger of a room because it has so, so many joints. I just want it to look good. I know it's like a tiny crappy little cupboard area that you just walk through, but still, you know, you want to make it look nice. Today is not just the big reveal for you at home, it's also the big reveal for my parents and we're going to catch their reaction on camera. Now, whenever they come, I like to do lunch. Ta-da! The table is ready. Today we are having asparagus and trout as a starter. <coughs> we're having fillet steak with a chimichurri sauce as a main course. And for dessert, we're having a lemon posset. I've been doing some really nice cooking lately. Um, one of the things that I found at the market was a local fish called seto, which is also known as wedge sole. Oh. 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 Never seen it anywhere, went through every cookery book I own, could not find it. So what I did was I simply lightly floured it. Uh-oh. Shallow fried it. Wow. Really, really nice, really different. Oh my God. Quite meaty, quite small, a little bit fiddly, but all the same, something different. Today, for something different, I have found this. Asparagus is in season here. Now, this is the normal green asparagus, or what they call violet. But look at that. That is purple asparagus, or black asparagus. But, yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying that. They are quite meaty stems. Well, just when you think you're getting to the end of all the firewood that you've been thawing up, father-in-law turns up with another trailer load. Look at that sprightly man dashing over to help. Down to me then, isn't it? Well, mother and father-in-law have come round for the day and they'd like to see the finished bathroom. So, um, I'm going to see what they think of it. Yeah. Now I see it finished, it looks really, really good. Yeah. No, when I first saw it, I thought, no, don't let the green turn down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cow buyer. Yeah. But oh, now, oh, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Where it leaking? Where was it leaking? The front plug. Not underneath. Yeah. Well, I might come and stop the wig on sometime. Yeah. Thank you, really, mate. I think that is an approval. <laughs> it definitely is, Nick. Hi, 
Right, welcome to Wine of the Week. More red wine this week. It's a uh, Beaujolais Village. Um, Carve du Perion from a village called Le Perion. Over that way. Which <laughs> <laughs> way? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That way. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed um, the room reveal on this week's episode. Back onto the blue room next week. Yay! <laughs> Yay! We'll, we'll call it the blue bathroom because of the blue tiles, so. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There you go, dear. Thank you very much. Well, this is a big cheers as well to Janice and Dexter who bought us a coffee to buy us this week for Wine of the Week. Thank you very much and cheers. Cheers. To you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yes. Now, mm, that's nice. Yeah, very, thank you very much, Janice and Dexter. <laughs> if you have enjoyed watching this week's video, please give it a like, and if you've not already, please hit the subscribe button. It is free to do so. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or X, or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. And you can find us here next Sunday. And until then, see you soon. Cheerio. Mm. Mm.